Hi guys, Master Indigo here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Payday 2 mods in 2020. Uh, the last episode version of the modding tutorial is since a little bit up outdated, since whole Steam library here is a little bit different looking than it was previously. Some websites where the mods were hosted are down and we are transferring from BLT to Super BLT. So if you want to install mods and don't worry about them working, jo just take a look at this. So in order for you to install the mods, go to your Payday 2 on Steam, right click at the bottom, it's properties, whatever in your language. Uh, this window will appear on the third tab, it's local files and you click the first option here in English, pros local files, it will open the payday to install directory. It might go down here, uh, but that, this is what we are going to do and where we are going to be installing things. So if you have previously installed uh, BLT and your mods are no longer working, make sure to delete the mods folder, which has base inside. So just delete that. And also the old version of BLT comes with this IPHL Puppy DLL file. Make sure also to delete that one. So those are like the relics of the old BLT hook that made much, much work previously. But these days we are using the newer version, which is Super BLT. It's like improved version of that as the name which you suggest with the Super. So in order for this to work, we need to install Microsoft Visual C++ package. Some modern games might already have this come with them, so you might have this installed. Uh, if you don't, just install it. And I already have this installed, so it will just say that the setup, setup has failed. And that's fine. If you don't have it installed, it will just complete the installation and you can close the tab. After that, you can download the latest released. This is the Super BLT and it, it's, it's a zip file, so you shouldn't have any trouble opening it. But some other mods do require, might require some sort of program that can open compressed files. And I highly recommend 7-zip because that has the best compression rates if I'm not too too mistaken. So right now I can also link the 7-zip page. It's not required right now but it looks like this. So you're gonna download your installation here for Windows and that might be needed for some other mods depending on how whoever has created the mods has used a different program or whatever. So we are here in the Super BLT. We have these two windows open side by side. So the new new version of the BLT is not called IPHL Puppy. It's called BSOC32. And we need to copy paste this into the Payday2 install directory. And that's it. We don't have Payday2 mods installed yet, but that's a lot, a lot simpler than it used to be. Now we just launch Payday2 and it will prompt us to download Payday 2 BLT base mods. This is required in order for the mods to work. And we click yes and the command prompt appears here. And it takes like one second. Installation complete, please restart Payday 2. So most likely your game will shut down anyway like mine did. But if it didn't, just close it down. Uh, then we can launch the game and see if our installation actually actually was successful it should be there shouldn't be anything and now we can see up to date none of your mods need updating so we have successfully installed the super blt and we can continue to the next step and many mods custom heists at least require you to download bird lit this is from mod workshop and we can press here the big green download button and it will download bird lip uh, just like with many other mods this page here is quite important it will tell you where to put your mods and what to do with them 
but mostly just follow this page so you know what to do so that goes to payday 2 slash mods so that folder goes there just a second and it has been there uh, that's that's junk so we can once again check out if it has been completely installed properly it's just copy pasting so it's not too hard and here we have we have successfully installed blib where well super blt is almost always required but blib is mostly required as well the other type of mods is texture mod and everything like that that doesn't really require you to do too much with scripting and some custom weapons or most custom weapons also use this way so in order to do this go to payday 2 well this install directory you have the assets folder open that and right there just create a new folder and name it mod underscore overrides so if you don't have this uh many mods already have it coming with them but it's just a simple empty folder where you will put your mods so i also do suggest you to download beardlip editor it's i don't think it's necessary for most things but if you are a little bit out of date with github just take the branches master clown or download and download save that way you can download a beard lip editor this is mostly for map editing if you want to create custom heist and so on but i do believe some some different mods might require this so just install it to be sure and this also goes into the mods folder it can just copy paste it like that takes a few seconds depending on the file size of the mod obviously and i will show you a few uh a few mods and how to install them we will check how they have been installed that everything works so here we have and um, one quite new custom weapons custom weapon that has been updated 17 hours ago it's an older mod it came out one year ago but at least we know this should be working because it's so recent as always check this page some uploaders have what is required here some don't but we do need bird lip beard lip sorry we have that installed this one also requires weapon lip so open that in under the tab download and weapon lib also goes into the mods folder and now we can close that we also have something else required with these modern sites uh, extract archive to content to mods so this also calls, goes to mods modern sites so check this page uh, for wherever it's go it's if it's going to mods or mod overrides so right now we have everything that should be required and there's so also some optional weapon modifications so if you want custom attachments different weapon style icons you can check these but only these are required so now we can install the custom custom weapon which is a little bit different so be back soon all right our custom weapon has downloaded so now we just open mods folder and go back to the assets and mod overrides folder and copy paste this here and takes a few seconds once again custom weapons custom maps and everything like that is a little bit bigger file size than something like scripts and now we can launch payday 2 and if this is uh, check if this is working so so we just go into our inventory go buy a new weapon and here we have Omelite AR-18. You can purchase just like a new weapon in the base game. You can have custom colors with the DLC or others. I'm not sure, too sure how these work with custom weapons. I don't think they do work too well. Uh, but they have some custom attachments often. 
to make them look a little bit different. And they are, well, more weapons to the game. Some have different stats like slow reload speeds, faster reload speeds. And it's really cool to have more content. So, as I said, it's quite important you check this front page at, at least what is necessary. You don't need to install the optional mods at it as as it says it's optional, but the required mods are often necessary in order for them to work. If you don't install all the required ones, the mod might not work at all. Your game might be crashing right whenever you start it or uh, sometimes it might work just fine until you start a heist or right when you press fire on your weapon click your mouse then the game will crash so make sure everything required is installed and it's different for every mod so right now i'm gonna check custom heists so custom heists are almost the same thing they just go into a different fold if you open hell's nightmare here a custom heist click the download we can open the pd2 directory and you can see the maps folder uh, this is where custom heists will go so you just copy paste the open the zip file first and copy paste the folder right so and then you can open the game whenever this transfer is complete and you should have the game with a new heist ready to go so it's not harder than that if you go to contract broker we do have events i believe uh, many custom heists obviously come with a different new contractor payday 2 maps pain with a part p uh, but we do have we do have or do we have it events hell's nightmare is it this yes hell's nightmare uh, i have played this previously three months ago uh, i just didn't have it installed kind of forgot what's the main game version of the heist but it's prison nightmare hell's nightmare is kind of like a modded version uh different map and so on but it's a kind of new heist but not quite so let's see if our game will work just fine and yes here we have we have completely successfully loaded into a custom heist so so if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments i'll try my best to answer them but the best place would be to go to mod workshop the place where you download the mods and their discord server they actually have a payday help channel where you can actually ask for help with your mods on creating them or installing them and the community is more than helpful with your problems anyways i hope this tutorial was helpful and you got your game installed with mods successfully if not i'll try my best to help you and that discord server is open for you as well it's also linked down in the description so you can join there and if you want to you can also join my discord server which is quite frankly in need of a revival anyways i hope you guys are all having a good day i'll see you next time master indigo signing out